Frank Hafe Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And coach, you get you win one and you lose one. A loss on the road, a tough one at Wichita State, but boy, what a really terrific bounce back, gritty win for your team uh, on Sunday at home. Yeah, you know, we went down to Wichita and we didn't play well, and uh, we had our chances, but we, you know, we 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 got back here, and anytime you have a tough loss. You just, you just need to get your guys, getting their confidence back. And I thought we fought our butts off against Memphis. And uh, we found a way uh, to give ourselves a chance to win the game, put ourselves in a position to win the game, and, and do the things we need to do to win the game. Absolutely. And the Hurricane off to a really good start in the American now at 5-2 and two through a very difficult early schedule. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But up next is Tulsa at Wichita State on the Frank Eighth Show. American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show. The Golden Hurricane uh, coach going up to Wichita State. It's always difficult to play at Wichita. And then you had a game before that, which was uh, postponed, the UCF game. How did that affect you going into the midweek game at Wichita? Well, you know, the, we, you, we had good rhythm, obviously, Bruce, going into the game, the Central Florida game. But then having that layoff, we had to adjust our practice, our mindset, and what we needed to do because we had some time off. So it's just a readjustment of your thoughts and how you prepare. Um, uh, you know, not knowing, you know, how it was going to affect us in the game. We just had a couple guys with a little bit under the weather. Brent, uh, uh, Brandon and, and Eliza, their roommates, had a little bit of little bug, and, and that was that affected us a little bit. Yeah, but. a little bit of a flu bug, and you'd, you would have, heck, you would have wanted to play against UCF. You guys were on a roll having won six in a row. So you take the six-game winning streak uh, up north in the uh, – Havoc in the heartland, if you will, Wichita State. And unlike these previous road games, Coach, they threw the first punch instead of you guys. They did. They did. And they got off to a good start. You know, that's, that's uh, Ray hitting a mid-range shot right there. And uh, obviously a little skip pass to Austin. Uh, nice shot. But they, they were ready to play, and they came out and, and got after us a little bit. But you can see Tulsa right in there battling. And, boy, that right-handed hook shot has been money for Ray Edowu. Yeah, Ray's, Ray's gotten a lot better, and this is a great pass late in the clock to Curtis. Good finish right there. Then the Hurricane down by seven at this point. Great hustle. There were nothing but white jerseys around there, but Brandon Rochelle came in. Good uh, uh, follow of uh, offensive rebound right there. And, and there we see Elijah, who's 
I, I thought he got hit there, but that was a good, good shot by Elijah, uh, aggressive take. So you're right in there. Uh, obviously, it's an eight-point deficit, but you're on offense here and about ready to score yet again. Good execution right there. You know, uh, obviously, uh, squeezing the defense by Darren, finding Austin for open three. Boy, he gets rid of it quickly, doesn't he? Got a quick release. And there's another three-pointer for you. And so you're down by five, right in the fight. Yeah, we're just right there. We, just, we, we stay within striking distance, you know. Uh, good transition play right here. Give us a bucket. Uh, so we're eight points down. And then, you know, right at the end of the half, I thought we, you know, this is a good play right here. Obviously, we get two more right here, cut it to six. Darian Jackson had a really good game, really hustled uh, in the contest. And this was all part of that. And the Hurricane cutting that lead down to six. But then the last couple of minutes just didn't go your way in which Yeah, you we did, we, you know, defensively, transition defense right there. We didn't get back, uh, give up a wide open three. Uh, just, you know, now all of a sudden we're down 13 where we were right in play with the last three minutes. Yeah, that lead got up as large as 15 in the first half, down to 13 at halftime. As you're looking at this, you're going, hey, you know, 13 is doable. That's not, you know, that's not something you haven't seen before. Right, and, and we just needed to, you know, get stops and, you know, play better offense. You know, we, we didn't get into one and one. We didn't get to the free throw line, and we need to be more aggressive and attacking. Here early in the second half, you do make a run. You get the first basket on a nice backdoor cut by Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Good pass for Brandon, good finish by Keyshawn. They went on a little bit of a run, but again, you're still fighting, and there's Ray Idowu once again for you. Yeah, we're just, we're just hanging around. You know, obviously, Bray's got to stay down right there and wall up and put his chest on it. Udeze had a good game for Wichita State. At one point, down by uh, 17. But you'll make your run in this one. But that was a good possession offensively. We moved the ball from side to side. and Just a good transition bucket by Curtis and finish. Yeah, down at one point, 47 to 30. And here's this, this starts a 12-0 run for you. What were you guys doing well? Sharing the ball. I right. mean, you see it right there. We, we're, we're really sharing the ball. And good shot, great shot at his best right there. And the Hurricane down by 12 at that point. And again, Darian Jackson had a good game. He had 12 points and nine rebounds in the contest as he was all over the place. Nice back cut uh, play right there and good finish. And so we're right there, right in play. Brandon Rochelle made only one three-pointer, but that was it right there. And uh, you're down by seven now. Yeah, and I think, you know, we, we get it to five uh, right here, another back cut play. And uh, we're, right in, we're right in play right here. Yeah, down by five, an unfortunate uh, block charge call didn't go your way the next time out. Uh, and uh, so you see the lead at 53-44, but there's Darian Jackson again battling inside. Yeah, that charge block play kind of killed our momentum a little bit, but we kept fighting right here. You know, there's Darian in the teeth of the zone, scoring and attacking. Um, you know, Darren really did a good job on the offensive glass this game. I think he had seven or eight rebounds. Right. And he ends up with that layup as uh, I think he scored about six or eight straight points for you and knocks the lead back down to eight. They would normally have an answer, unfortunately, and, but you kept fighting back, and that three-pointer equal the three-pointer had just been made by Wichita State. Yeah, and, we, and I think these last two or three minutes, we took some quick threes, and they got some transition buckets, and, you know, it, you know really, the it, it final score was probably an eight, nine, ten-point game rather right. than a 19-point game because of our inability to execute on offense. And, and, uh, but... Uh, like I said, you know, we, we, we didn't play well. Uh, we, we shoot three free throws. We're never getting a one and one And you got to give Wichita State credit. They did what they needed to do to win the game. Yeah, obviously, uh, three free throws, maybe one of the lowest we've ever seen in the Frank Haith era uh, for one of your teams. Part of that was, obviously, you didn't get a whole lot of calls. But the other part is, you even said this, your team needed to be more aggressive to the hole. Yeah, we shot 29 threes. And uh, that's, not our, that's not us. That's not our, you know, how we play. So uh, we didn't do what we needed to do to win that ball game. All right, we'll be back and see if Tulsa can bounce back and win for the second time this year against Memphis. That's coming up next. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern Comfort Food covered. 
Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. the American. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. A winter storm of cash is coming your way during River Spirit's Snow Me the Money Giveaway. The winnings are piling up, and you could be chilling in a blizzard of big bucks, a cool $25,000 each week. Play and earn entries daily for your chance at one of five cash drawings in January. 25 k every Saturday at 11 p.m. Winning is so much fun. So get ready for a blast of cash during our Snow Me the Money Giveaway, only at River Spirit Casino Resort. We're back on the Frank Haith Show. The Golden Hurricane playing host to Memphis on Sunday afternoon. And coach, after a difficult loss at Wichita State, what are the important aspects to a bounce back win? Well, well we had to get back to playing the way we're, you know, Tulsa basketball. We had to get back to playing Tulsa basketball. And, and, that's, and you know, there was a lot of things in that game at Wichita State. It wasn't us. You know, we talked right. about the three free throws. Well, we didn't have enough paint touches. We and, and then we just didn't have enough aggression. We didn't have enough physicality. So all the things that are that we – identify with as who we are we didn't do we had to get back to doing those things well and it's Tulsa taking on Memphis Tulsa won the earlier game this year in Memphis 56 to 49 and of course the last time Memphis was in the gym at the rental center yeah it was the 80 to 40 game last year the only time the two teams played so there's no question this Memphis team very talented Frank was coming in ready to play they were going to be ready to play you know you, you know you, you have a physical game up there and you come back here they remember in this building last year, as you mentioned earlier, they're going to be ready to play. And there we are to a good start. Skip past Brandon, knocks down a three. Yeah, good to see Brandon Rochelle get it going in the early going and Tulsa tying the game up at three, and that one makes it an 8-6 game. Nice floater by Keyshawn Williams right there off the ball screen. And already you're more aggressive into the yeah, paint, aren't you? Yeah, into the paint right away. And there's, there we are in the paint again. You know, Eliza driving in there, uh, making a good attack. There's another paint touch. There's another paint touch, and that's that's what we want. That's that's us. Yep, Keyshawn Embry Simpson with it. Do you call that a dunk or not? No, that's a layup. That's a layup. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it, it, he he wanted to, didn't he? And there's yeah. another nice move. Another nice move, and we're being aggressive. We're being aggressive, and you know they got great length, and so we know we got to be smart. When we drive it in there, uh, like like there. You just got to be able to pass the ball, and and Ray makes a nice little mid-range shot. So you see it at 16-15, but you can tell with the with the numbers and the how much time's left in the half, it was a pretty defensive half, wasn't it? It was. I mean, they're 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 really good defensively, uh, Bruce. They're they're long, they're athletic, and uh, they play hard on that end of the floor. So we knew points were going to be hard to come by if we weren't executing. At this point, Brandon's out of the game with foul trouble, and, and boy, you needed these these moments. Didn't yeah, you? good shot by Austin, and a nice play by uh, to finish the half by Eli. But we we made free throws. I think that really helped us there in that stretch uh, to get some points with Brandon on the bench. Second time at home that a late in the first half basket by Elijah Joining really helps you. Closes the gap down to six. And uh, so I think you feel you're in a pretty good place. You played well defensively. Brandon Rochelle's in foul trouble uh, and didn't play for a majority of that first half. So, you know. Right, well, yeah, he played 10 minutes in the first half. So we, we feel good about it, but we wanted to continue to be aggressive. And uh, this is the first play of the second half. Nice drive, kick to Manny, and good finish. Ugbo able to finish on that one, and moments later, this is an amazing play. He didn't even see the basket as he flipped it up as Elijah Joyner got fouled and got the end one. But another quick penetration, attack on a big 6'11", 7-foot kid there, and good finish. So he gets the three-point play, making the free throw. And moments later, back into the paint again, huh? Good pass by Curtis, and uh, there we are, attacking that paint, sharing the ball, squeezing the defense, and uh, good good shot fake right there in the paint area. Elijah Joyner with his second old-fashioned three-point play, if you will, and Tulsa taking the lead. 
Out of bounds play, we um, five out. We call five out. Good swing at a ball and a good attack by Brandon right there. But back comes Memphis as they continue to play well. They they shared the ball uh, pretty well, uh, and that was one of their emphasis. And obviously, they got the big slam dunk there. Well, Williams, six nine, six ten guy driving the ball, kicking it, and he throw over. And he, he's a really talented player. Brandon Rochelle with a nice move and the Hurricane cutting into the lead. Important sequence here. Really is. Uh, good execution. And it's, it's, I didn't realize it was that contested. <laughs> but a really good shot by Austin uh, off out of bounds play. It was a big one because at one point they were up by 6, 44, 38. And now you're down by one and now it's two. And that's a nice uh, spot up jumper for Haywood. Yeah, nice pull up rhythm, Jay, uh, for Curtis. And now it's anybody's ball game. I mean, it, it's it's down the back stretch here. And again, Brandon Rochelle strong. Good move, uh, good finish uh, off of the, uh, a go play. And uh, another opportunity for getting the paint. And there's Eli uh, just playing strong and big in there. Yeah, and he just gives you what you need, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he need, we needed him to score a little bit, and he scored a little bit. So this is a big bucket right here. Uh, we're up one. And, Offensive stick back by Ray, puts us up three. So now you're up three. This is, by the way, your largest lead, and it becomes your largest lead again as Embry Simpson able to do the back door. And so you're up by uh, as many as five, and this is the final moments of the basketball game. You're up by three, and they get a putback with uh, three seconds to go. And so now you have a final play, and what a play it was, huh? Yeah, just good execution there. Who's he throwing that to? No one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't clock matter. Run does out. It? We don't. We, you know. You know. Guys want to hold that ball, get foul. We, we you said Brandon, you get it. And that close, you just throw it up in the air, just throw it down the court, and the clock will run out. And he, good execution there. But the play before is big. When they missed the three, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of teams foul that guy on that offensive rebound, and we we're up three. So understanding time and situation was really big. We didn't foul the guy on the offensive rebound, knowing we we're up three, and we we would still be up one. So. Uh, great finish to that ball game. Yeah, Eli Joyner leading the way with 14 points for the Golden Hurricane. And again, you needed your you needed your veterans to come through, and 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 he and Brandon Rochelle did, and then other guys chipped in. It was a good win. Yeah, and that's what college basketball is. You know, older guys, you know, you need those older guys playing like older guys. And uh, Brandon and and, and Elijah stood stood big in the ball game and made some real critical plays to help us win down the stretch. Absolutely. So the Hurricane with a sweep of the Memphis Tigers. As Tulsa now 5-2 and two in the American Athletic Conference, we'll take a peek at the standings a little bit later on. We'll be back with more after this timeout on the Frank Hafe Show. Good job. Good job. Good job. As, as, a, as an elder win, we run it out. I mean, winning is hard. It ain't ever easy. Uh, you found a way. Uh, we, we, we had, our defense was good enough. We got enough stops. We got enough rebounds. We made enough free throws. Uh, but we all know we can get better in all those categories. Okay? Those are all controllable. So, uh, but, uh, but I love how we fought, we stayed, stayed together, and we, and we, we found a way. And uh, sometimes that's the way it's going to be. You know, you know, Memphis is a really good team. I mean, they're picking me second in this league. I mean, they're, they're a really good basketball team. So we took care of business. We took care of our home court. We got back on track. Okay? So now we got to handle ourselves the right way. Okay? To make sure you take care of your bodies. We got a big one on, on Wednesday. We, I think we're in here at 11 in the morning. Uh, is that right, Coach? Yeah, yes. Sir. With Coach Deeds. And, but, but make sure you take care of your bodies, okay? Great win. Great win. Great win. Great win.
are the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. Welcome back to the Frank Hayes Show and on the Don Thornton Auto Group feature segment. Coach, on Sunday it was coaches versus racism, our special game. So important. It, it is, and, and it, that, that theme is something that our league adopted this summer. Um, and um, Coach Sampson was big in, in us adopting that. It's kind of like a playoff of coaches versus cancer. So, mm -hmm. uh, But I, I love what we did, and, and just the, the back just continue to encourage unity, togetherness, equality, uh, all those things uh, based on this summer. Very proud to be a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. And we're taping this on MLK Day, so a very important week in our discourse. And let's take a look back at that summer of social justice awareness for the University of Tulsa and the Unity March. This past week, I sent the guys uh, some information about Black Wall Street, which I thought was important uh, with all that's going on. To We have something in our that occurred in our city, something as historic as Black Wall Street. Wall Street, and it was about a 10 minute video and uh, to explain well, what all Black Wall Street was. And uh, from that, uh, with our players, we talked about how can we honor the, the latest three tragedies, you know, um, George Floyd, uh, Ahmaud Avery, and Breonna Taylor. And so we, we got together as a group and, and talked about how we could do that. And it, it started with uh, you know, us meeting at 10 o'clock uh, this morning, and um, and then at 10:14 we would get started with the walk. And the 10:14 is uh, George Floyd's birthday, uh, October 14th, and that was to honor him. And then we uh, started down Delaware, and we waited, uh, had a moment of silence for 27 seconds, and that was to honor. Brianna Taylor, whose birthday was on that Friday, she turned 27. And then we started a 2.23 mile walk uh, to the Culture Center and to uh, Wall, Black Wall Street. And that was Ahmad Avery's uh, birthday. So that to honor him. And I think we were able to get that accomplished with, with honoring all three of those guys within this walk. And along the way, there was a you know, a lot of uh, uh, people supporting and yelling and encouragement to our players, which is pretty cool. Our guys wanted to do something to show unity, but to also bring awareness. We had a nice little treat when we got to the Culture Center that we were able to get in inside the Culture Center and to see some in interesting facts about Black Wall Street and uh, some stuff that was archived there. And I know it was a very, educational for our, our young people. And at the end of the day, with all this going on, this is what it's all about, is continue to educate. And I think when you educate, you give confidence, but you also allow people to have a, a smooth conscience. And I want our guys to know, learn more. And I think that's part of our job as teachers, is to continue to teach. And uh, this is a great educational experience for our young people. A winter storm of cash is coming your way during River Spirit's Snow Me the Money Giveaway. The winnings are piling up and you could be chilling in a blizzard of big bucks, a cool $25,000 each week. Play and earn entries daily for your chance at one of five cash drawings in January. 25 k every Saturday at 11 p.m. Winning is so much fun. So get ready for a blast of cash during our Snow Me the Money Giveaway. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal. 
or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We welcome you back on the Frank Hayes Show and Coach as we take a peek at the American Athletic Conference standings. There you see Houston at 6-1. and one. Your team's only a game back at 5-2, and two, and guess what? You play at Houston on Wednesday. Big-time game. It is, and uh, unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to finish watching that game last year. I, had to, I, got, I got there early, <laughs> kicked to the showers, but uh, big game. You know, they're very, they're very talented, obviously. They're one of the best teams in the country. I think they're top 10, uh, and uh, just a tremendous opportunity for us. I mean, you talk about a team that's, uh, you know, they played the game the right way. You got to bring your hard hat uh, in that ball game, and, uh, and and particularly in their building, they're going to be, you know, jacked up. And obviously, they look at our game and you know a, a quality win. So. It'd be a quality win for us also. Absolutely. Their only loss was to Tulsa, and you guys have to show that same sort of toughness in Houston this week, right? If we have a chance, that's the only way you have a chance. you gotta, you got to bring it. And you've heard me say it before. He come at me, I go at him. And uh, if we got that mentality, we give ourselves a chance. And uh, you, we know what kind of game it's going to be, and, and uh, uh, I guys are excited about it. All right, Coach, good luck. Have a great week. Thank you, Bruce. Hurricane also at home against Tulane on Saturday. That wraps it up for the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard for the Coach. So long, everybody. The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, the credit union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. Frank Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.